What's up, nerds? We're back with some more Mario Odyssey. You're so apparently cold. cold. Yeah, in someone the froze the desert. If you haven't noticed the giant blocks of ice. Yes. All right, let's see if I can do that mini game. I don't. I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, I'm sure it's not either. But you know, I tend not to question these things. All right. So I was uh, I was talking about my my Dallas trip. So I I get there, and we have one game on Friday night, and apparently my opponent for the first round is running late, uh. and I guess they live. In Houston? Really? Yeah. So I... basically what happened was is the teachers and everybody made them stay until the school day was over and then tr travel out there. Meanwhile, Houston is still a good distance away from Dallas. Well, this this opponent was rated probably more than double what my rating was. And I had two choices. They said, "Okay. Well, you can you can sit here and wait. And if he doesn't make the time, you just win." Yeah, but that's lame. <laughs> or you can take a half point buy. A what? A half point buy. I don't know what that is. So a full a win would be one point. A draw would be a half a point. In this particular case, they'd give me oh. a half point buy into would, the second row. Yeah. Yeah, you would be able to leave then. I'm assuming. Then I would just leave. Yeah. All right. Well, I was feeling. Re now remember, I was 17 at the time. Dude, it's right here. How do I... I don't know. I've never played this. What did he tell you to do? I have to feel the rumble, but I'm not using the Joy-Cons, so I have to go off the screen shake. And it's right. like right here. Yeah, it's getting stronger. No, it's like here. Yes, I know! No. No. So I'm feeling frisky and decide to not take the half point by. It's like right here, dude. Yeah, so does he like show up? Meanwhile, my opponent is uh, technically like he's he's rated over 2000, which is master rank or at least expert rank. And I am nowhere close to this. Okay. He shows up with about a half an hour left on his clock. Proceeds to absolutely decimate me. Rip. And then I get to feel terrible about my decision for the rest of the tournament. <laughs> He just handed you, walked in and handed you an L. He, he just, he didn't even hand the L to me. 
He just dropped the L on the floor and walked away. Well, by this point in time, like, this is... This is not my first national tournament. And I have a little girlfriend that I always beat up with at all the national... Uh, the national... Uh, tournaments. Yeah. So... Ah, bitch! So I tell my dad, I'm like, hey, they're going to, um, to Spaghetti Warehouse. Dude, they have that down there, too? Yeah. Interesting. This is before... <laughs> this is actually before it was up here. Oh. I did not know that. I'm making so... you the send of a bitch. So I, we, we meet up with her and her mom and my dad and me are basically on kind of like this double date type thing. Okay. I know there's a moon up there. I don't remember how to get it. Now, granted, my dad wasn't. My dad was still, uh, still married to my mom at this point. Okay. Uh, but the divorce was finalized um, in May of the following year. So, like, five months later. Not so bad. So they were going through the divorce actively? I... There's a moon right there. I don't remember. Come here, you bitch. Booyah! They might have been. But I wasn't paying attention to what they were talking about. I was talking to my friend. Okay. So that's just like the first day in Dallas. Sounds like a fun day. It wasn't terrible. Like, the whole trip really wasn't that bad. Um, I don't even remember every day explicitly, just because, um, like, s Saturday. I don't like this. I don't like this. Saturday at a national tournament starts at 7 a.m. And you have four games that day. Okay. Okay. Now, each of these games is timed. The time control on a national tournament is you have to have the first 40 moves in an hour and a half. And then the rest of the game, you have to be able to play in another hour and a half or 45 minutes. I can't remember. It's one of those two. So, each of these games is a good two, three hours long. No! Because the, that's ev that's each person's time control, not the whole game. Oh, I need to go up here. <laughs> I was like, where am I going? The timing in chess is so weird to me. What? What don't you understand about it? It's just... I don't know. I don't... Is it... It's based on your movement, right? Yeah, it, it's based on your timing. Yeah. See, there's... Can I make it if I use... So, like... By, by the time control that I was referring to, it means, like... No! I have an hour and a half to make my first 40 moves. So do they. First 40 moves? First 40 moves. After that, you get another 45 minutes. I'm almost positive it's 45 minutes now. It's been a while. 
We're talking more than half a lifetime ago. What would you consider a lifetime? My lifetime. More than half my lifetime ago. That makes sense. This game is freaking beautiful. I am so distracted right now. Like, every oh. time... Every time one of those... What? Um, one of those coins jumps off. I have to go get it. Oh, these? Like, in the game? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh! <laughs> So, before the trip started, I told, my dad and I were having a conversation. I, it might have actually been while we were driving. It's a long trip. You gotta find That's shit to talk ow. about. Yeah. I always find it weird talking to my dad, because, like, we have nothing really in common. He's like a Midwestern welder type. Uh-huh. Like, no bullshit kind of... Pretty straightforward in every regard, but we have nothing in common. Uh huh. I guess I should say my stepdad, but yeah, both my dads really. So my my dad. Inhale. My dad taught me how to bowl, so we always had bowling to talk about. Oh no. And this was in the middle of bowling season anyway, so... Okay, so you just talked about bowling. We talked about bowling, we talked about other things. Um, of course, I was in drafting at that point in time, and my dad was a mechanical engineer, so we talked about that stuff. So, your grandfather was a rocket scientist, your father was a mechanical engineer, and you studied yes. to be what? Uh, uh, drafting was, I took a vocation in high school for drafting. I don't know what that is. What is drafting? It's basically mechanical engineering. Ooh. I realized real quick that that wasn't for, that wasn't for me. Um, however, programming was something I enjoyed quite heavily. My my mom is basically an accountant. My okay. brother essentially has his doctorate in economics. You can get a doctorate in economics? You can get a doctorate in economics, yes. That's wild. And... Apparently, it's not very useful. I mean, unless you're working on Wall Street, I guess, you know? No, like, he tried to teach for a little while, but... Like, the economy sucked. <laughs> I love it. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking funny! Hello, hello, do not mind me. <laughs> I am. How do you like my hat? How do you like my hat? I see you have some nice glasses there. But yeah, my, my family is very, very math-oriented. Gotcha. Mine's not. Which is why there's a lot of times where you'll say something really sarcastic, and I won't pick up on it because my logic sensors just 
Oh, I'm the same way. If I'm not actively being sarcastic, I probably don't know that you're being sarcastic. Can I jump? No. What is moving up there? Birdies. Well, I suppose we'll figure out what to do next in the next episode. Oh shit, is it already time? It, it is. is already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will see you in the next one. Boy, we know what the thumbnail is for this one. <laughs> oh, you know it. <laughs>